Welcome to Square One Games Network. My name is Dormouse03. And my name is Exonovant, and today we press play on Thimbleweed Park. Hey, it's Ransom the Clown here. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to tell you about this game called Thimbleweed Park. If you think this is a game about figuring out who killed the stiff out by the bridge, you're wrong. <laughs> that rotting corpse is the least of your problems in a town like this. The town is run by a rich, narcissistic egomaniac who's obsessed with artificial intelligence built from vacuum tubes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Before I was cursed by this old lady, I was rich, famous, and at the top of my game, doing sellout shows every night. Now I'm reduced to breaking into a burnt-out pillow factory to steal back the plans for my comeback doll. Oh yeah, and these morons are also gonna help. Man, Thimbleweed Park. Get to hell. <laughs> Why are you shooting it? <laughs> the the 80. <laughs> a dead body is the least, least of your, of your problems. problems. Yeah, this looks funny. Yeah, dude. It looks that looks funny. freaking hilarious, man. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Like, I, I have... I'm a terrible person because I never played any of the Ron Gilbert games from back in the day. I haven't played Secret of Monkey Island and all that stuff. Uh, although it's in my backlog to get to, but this looks funny. It does. Yeah, it looks really funny. <laughs> <laughs> so. And a lot of these games try to be humorous and they miss it. Like their punchlines fall flat. But this these punchlines were good. Yes. Like uh, really good. <laughs> I think my favorite was the end where it shoots the hole through the thing and the population, <laughs> population 81. goes down. <laughs> population 80, son. Uh huh. That is. Yep. Did you ever play Maniac Mansion? Did you ever no. play that? No. Mm -mm. That's a good one if you can ever. That was made by LucasArts. Mm -hmm. They're kind of hit or miss with their games, but um, I remember playing that game. This reminds me of that game a lot. Very cool. God, yeah, Maniac Mansion's bringing back memories right now <laughs> in my brain. <laughs> if you guys have played Maniac Mansion, leave it in the comments below. Some people haven't, but I think those who have will probably you know, give it some a good review. It's a very good game. This is interesting, though, man. Why, why is it that I find this type of content so fascinating this year versus, <laughs> like, the AAA stuff? Tell me why. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm still interested in the AAA stuff, but... Stuff like this just seems very appealing to me this year. AAA stuff just seems like it's gotten so... It's too big. You know, like, they, there's too much scope, or they're trying to do too much with it, and sometimes I think that you just get burnt out on that stuff that's, like, reaching to be this high art whatever. Yeah. So, I don't Because Horizon Zero Dawn was an absolutely beautiful game. I mean, mm -hmm. um, but and it was good, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, I, I felt sometimes like I was playing Far Cry Primal. Like, it felt very similar in some ways, right? It did. And a lot of those open world games tend to feel... But something like this, like, even though it kind of reminds me of Maniac Mansion, I think the feel level will be completely unique. And maybe that's why I'm so drawn to these type of games this year i don't know i don't know thimbleweed park you guys let us know what y'all think about the population being 80 <laughs> in the comments below we'll see you guys in the next episode of press play <laughs> go long hail mary go long <laughs> We gotta do outtakes for these. Yeah, this no, that, that's exactly there. what I'm thinking. Like we gotta, we have to, we have to just keep this because this yeah, is gold. I'll do some. I'll, I'll do something funny with it at the end.